Hey yo, what is up guys? It is Dragonfly Todd coming at you with a brand new video and today it is going to be Game News Episode 7. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about Wild Wild West Online and the controversy that surrounded with it as of everyone thought it was Red Dead Redemption, the screenshots for it. Now, Wild Wild West Online is going to be an open world PvP MMO. It's going to have a gang system where you can help or defend the law. You can help and defend the law or you can be a criminal and by helping and defending the law you can be a bounty hunter or maybe they'll even add a sheriff system in the game who knows you can create camps and if they succeed their fun goal then they will add heists and train robberies within a couple months of launch this is set to launch in fall of 2017 around the time that red dead redemption 2 is going to release so that'll give us PC players a little something to play on the PC until Red Dead comes out. Or maybe this game will be even better than Red Dead. Who knows? You will be able to steal from people's camps and robberies will be... Oh, I mean, obviously stealing from people's camps and robberies will cause you to actually get stars, wanted stars, and that will cause bounty hunters actual player bounty hunters no AI are gonna come after you for the crimes that you commit it's going to be real people who want to defend and help the law bringers next up I want to talk a little bit about Far Cry 5 so on reddit there has been some you know some rumors about this supposed Far Cry 5 thing and uh, the fact of the matter is that someone someone found out about the photographer for um another game or something and they actually went up to montana and are taking pictures with the one of the developers of far cry or like the people who are making it so it could be a uh western that was actually one of the options that uh, they asked what what do you guys want to be in Far Cry 5 and one of the options is Western so you, I mean they're definitely thinking about it next up I want to talk about the Assassin's Creed origins leaked image so this image is it's pretty good but I mean it's obviously taken with an iPhone or something of the sort and in the top left corner you can see Obviously the crocodile beam, that's going to be kind of funny, but I mean, it's going to be probably like a Templar general or somebody like they are going to have to go kill. But anyway, I don't think you're going to be killing actual crocodiles guys, but look right under that. It says Ken Newt and I actually looked that up. It's the queen of Egypt and the wife of the king, Yunas, Yuhas, something during the fifth dynasty of Egypt. So this kind of points to a, either a, two, two possibilities, either we're going to be playing in multiple time periods in this Assassin's Creed Origins game or we're going to be playing in Egypt. And Egypt seems like a really cool step in a direction and I think it would be awesome uh, to actually bring Desmond Miles or uh, I don't think his name was Desmond Miles. I just I was like thinking about my older brother. <laughs> but uh, it would be cool if they would they bring Desmond back into the series. They kind of made it go downhill after they killed him off but if they did bring him up they're not going to obviously because they have confirmed that he's not going to be in the game but if they did then it would add a little bit of story for the present and the past and maybe they can even like find an old ancient egypt uh egyptian uh relic to bring him back to life or something anyway guys if you did enjoy this game news video I'm going to kind of cut it off right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter and like and subscribe and comment because this video just has to be amazing if you're still watching it at this far. So love all you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Peace guys.